Hello everybody, Paul Wyrostek, Master Teacher, Channeler of Healing, and this is your energy update for March 1st, 2022, and we have a list for you tonight, okay? So, big, big news. Maybe you guys didn't know, but there's a war going on. Okay, a lot of people have been wondering where I've been. I haven't even been put, putting out my little small videos. But I wanted to wait for this to be the right time. I did some meditations, did some notes, and man, it's bright. And <clears throat> the time is now. Okay, so what I've what I have been doing. Okay, so it hasn't been long, right? My past few videos, I don't know how many updates ago, it wasn't that long that I pretty much said war is coming. Um, and I'm still waiting for it to, to, to show up on another front, other than what's going on right now. So what I have been doing, whenever I experience something, a vision, whatever you want to call it, what I do is my job on this planet as a channeler uh, is to transmute it. So immediately, as soon as something comes into my awareness, during my personal meditations, I, I open up to source and I work on transmuting what I saw. So in other words, make it simple. If it's not meant to happen by me doing this universal oneness, if this is what it takes and we're transmuting it. Clearing it, healing it to the full extent of the highest of good, right? Make it so, whatever this is, universal one, is to be of the highest of good if it can't be transmuted. Okay, so this, you know, things happen for a reason. So also what I've been doing is massive crossovers. Okay, what is a crossover for some of you that do not know? It is when you take a lost soul... A dead person, whether they're dead one hour or 500 years. It's a channeler. Not everybody can do crossovers. It has to be in your DNA. It's a long friggin' story. So I was born for this. So I know what I have to do. So it's, it's a connection where I, in the physical, connected to higher self, can open up a gateway, if you will, of light for these lost souls so that they can be guided, not just crossing over, because that can be too extreme. That's pure golden white light, right? Straight to source itself. It is healing stages, okay? So it's helping to clear the lower astral plane, which I, I've known since over 17 or so years of doing this work, that all of this light coming in is is purging not just us as individuals, not just the collective, but it's purging the lower astral planes too. The lower astral plane, the lower fourth dimension, okay? Most of the fourth dimension in general, where millions of souls are either lost, trapped, or have so much fear and hate that these energies will not go, that they will have attachments to them think of that concept souls having attachments yeah deal with it all the time so a crossover is somebody here on the earth like me connecting to source opening the golden white light in between to let in this light this healing this love for these souls to have to be guided to give now to have knowledge and information dawn upon them to have loved ones come gather them okay and this is what i call one of the things i call them is a uh, waiters waiters isn't like a waiter that comes to your table to give you a drink or to take your meal order a waiter is is a being of light that is waiting so there's 
many, many, many waiters. Now, these beings are not directly from source. They can't be, because if they were directly from source, they would not be able to manifest into the lower astral plane in order to meet these people who are dying right now at war. So when I see an event through a vision, I also see if there's waiters or not. As soon as you see waiters, you know it's meant to happen and it's going to happen. So I do my meditations to pretty much bring that light in. So when their souls are experiencing what they're experiencing, the souls dip out before the actual boom happens. Now, some people have to just experience it the way it is because we are in the raw here on this planet. So waiters, the best way to explain them, the best way that I see waiters is imagine a white light, almost like a ring light color white, right? Not as bright, shaped as people. So that people moving shaped exactly like a friggin' light, white light. Okay, I could do a whole nother video about this, why they're white light and not golden white light. So, understand that this is the greatest movement of light the world has ever seen. And this greatest movement of light that the world has ever seen has been happening for a long time. We're seeing the result of it. In order for this shift to happen, this had to happen. War had to happen. What's to come has to happen. I've had these dreams and visions hundreds of times for over 30 years. Same exact one. Different angle. Different places in the world. Different places in America. I knew this was coming for a long time time. Part of the time that I've been doing this crossovers is, is processing this information that, you know, when you have these dreams and visions hundreds of times, you know, something's coming. And then I realize the work that I do. Then I create my own business. Then I have clients worldwide and it's still coming. So now, now I'm looking back and okay. Uh Oh, doesn't take doesn't take much, right, to connect the dots. So the people that are dying, understand this. They are light workers or they are doing light work. They're either literally light workers or they're people that are that the universe is using their experience to shift the planet, transmuting their karma. Another video I could do on this. But to make it simple, if the people die, understand that you can look at them as basically angels, beings of love that have volunteered to come to this planet to make the shift. These are often the brightest lights. Now, this shift of light is so intense that it is drawing out the darkness, like sucking out the poison of a snake bite or something like that. It's drawing it out. It's drawing out the fever. Now, with the new moon coming, new moon in Pisces, this is the last sign of the zodiac. Big new beginnings. It's a good time to start manifesting new beginnings as well. But it's also a time that is activating and triggering the darkness. Well, the trigger's already happened. It's activating the darkness. We have to get the poison out. But with this astrology, with everything going on, what is happening is... The darkness is, is getting activated, but love confuses the darkness. So it can discombobulate and it can also draw it out in an in a act of haste or acting rash. So the light is backing the wounded wolf 
coyote, scorpion into the corner. What happens when you back a wild animal, sc scorpion, wolf, coyote into a corner? It's going to rip your face off. It really will. It is going to come out attacking. This is what is happening with the war. The invaders are being drawn out and they are attacking. And what happens when, when they leave the den or they leave the corner? You shut the door behind them so that when they turn around, they can't go back in. More attacks will happen. I'm expecting a war on another front to take place if I if I haven't transmuted it or working to transmute it. That's when I feel we're all going to see the real big picture. But I want you all to understand that this is the best thing that could be happening. Because when you squeeze off the, the doorway so that they can't get back in, you've squeezed off their supply. And guess what's happening to the invaders right now? Worldwide? Collectively, they're getting their supplies squeezed off. They're getting punished. So what is this doing? This is making the collective stand together. All different colors, all different races, all different companies, all different backgrounds, all different experiences. There's going to be a time where we all get together and we say, fuck no. Enough is enough. And the collective of light has won. And then it's going to take decades and decades and decades and decades to acclimate, readjust, heal, repair, transmute. So really this could be the biggest update ever. I don't know what I'm going to name this update. Do you see how important this update is? Now, all you have to do, stay in your truth. Okay, because you're going through the same massive transformation. Remember in an update I did not too long ago, I said that things are going to come out that you haven't wanted to face your entire life. These are some of the things that are coming out. Remember before that, before that, I was saying we're just entering into our deep core wounds. So you focus on you. You focus on your ascension. You focus on what is being triggered, what is being mirrored, and these things that you need to let go because timelines are closing massively around the world. This is the biggest time to let go of things that do not serve you. And if they don't serve you, they will surface. There could be the most traumatic changes coming, the most shocking changes coming to you and your personal life. There's going to be blame, shame, guilt, blocks, cords, attachments. There's going to be everything coming out. Your deep core wounds coming out. Total transformation. I got much more to say on this subject. But right now I just want to say... Have a good evening, everybody. This is the conclusion to this week's energy update love to everybody let it be done and so it is done